Hey there, it's Garland Smith with WebsiteHelpingHand.com and I've got a great how-to video tutorial for you. I decided to use WordPress for my HelpfulCoach.com website. I found the free Blackbird theme from InkThemes.com and decided to use it. I had content that I wanted to include in my website, so I had to figure out how to add my content and map it into the fabric and framework of the Blackbird theme. To do that, I had to figure out how the Blackbird theme is constructed in order to know how to use the WordPress dashboard in order to build my website and map my content into the elements available in the Blackbird theme. I'll show the elements that are included as part of the Blackbird theme and how to use the WordPress dashboard to add content. The basic methodology is the same for any WordPress theme. What's different is that each WordPress theme has its own design that you need to understand in order to use it as the basis for your website. This screen shows the basic elements and layout of the WordPress Blackbird theme that we're using for this demo. Site title and tagline are displayed in the upper left hand side of your home page. The menu is a fundamental part of any WordPress theme. Home page top right cell info and home page contact info allow you to enter cell phone and contact email address which are displayed in the upper right hand side of your home page. The home top feature image allows you to upload a graphic that gets displayed in the main display area of your home page. This image is clickable and takes the user to a URL that you've chosen. The home top feature heading and home top feature description are displayed in the lower right hand side of your feature image. The home page heading allows you to add text that's prominently displayed under the home page feature image on the home page. The home page feature content consists of three hot buttons, each of which has customizable feature image, feature heading, and feature content, and allows a user to click on the hot button to take them to a URL that you've chosen. And finally, there are three footer widgets that can be used however you choose. Now that we've seen the basic elements and layouts of the Blackbird theme, let's look at how we add our content. To add the site title and tagline, go to the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Customize. This is where we add the site title and tagline, title, tagline, some basic navigation options, the widgets for the first, second, and third widget area, and you can also change the home page to use a static page. That means that you can point to a particular page if you want to rather than using the default features that are part of the theme. Adding a menu to a WordPress website is pretty much the same across the board for all themes. Anytime you add a new page, that page can be added to a menu. To configure the menu, you go to the dashboard, go to Appearance, Menus, and you add the menus, you drag and drop, you can create other menus directly so that you can add links and such. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that because this is not something that is specific to the Blackbird theme. There are a number of elements related to the home page. We've got the feature image that's displayed in the main display area of the home page. We've got the cell phone information and contact information in the upper right hand side of the home page. We've got the feature heading and description in the lower right hand side of the feature image. We've got the home page heading, which is prominently displayed on the home page underneath the feature image. And we've got the three buttons that constitute the feature content, each of which has an image, a heading, and content, and where you supply a URL so when the user clicks on that button, it goes to that URL. To configure these home page items, we go to the dashboard, go to Appearance, Theme Options, and we've got general settings includes a custom logo which can be used in place of the site title and tagline and the cell phone information and contact information that's displayed in the upper right hand side of the home page. We've got the home top feature menu where we upload an image that is going to display as the main image on the home page. 
and we supply the heading and description that is displayed in the lower right hand side of the feature image and we provide a URL that takes the user to that URL when the user clicks on the feature image or on the feature heading both of which are hot links and then finally we've got the home page settings where we enter the heading which is that text that's displayed under the featured image and the featured content the buttons those three buttons each of which has a heading, an image that you upload that replaces the default image that's provided with the theme, the featured content which describes what that button is for, and the URL that the user is taken to when they click that button. And we have that for each of the three home page feature content buttons. The first, the second, and the third. So the footer widgets display at the bottom of the home page. Configuring widgets is pretty much the same for any WordPress theme. Go to the dashboard, click Appearance, Widgets. You will get a list of available widgets on the left hand side and the widget areas on the right hand side and you simply drag and drop the available widgets into the actual widget areas. First widget, second widget, third widget. I'm using the Visual Editor plugin that I downloaded from WordPress. And here's a quick reference for configuring the WordPress Blackbird theme. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this demo to be informative. Please visit my website to download the electronic version of the instructions and find other useful information related to web hosting and website design using WordPress. My website is www.websitehelpinghand.com. If you've not yet purchased your web hosting and plan to use HostGator.com, here are a couple of coupon codes that will provide savings when you sign up. EZ Coupon 25 will get you 25% off your purchase. EZ Coupon 994 will get you $9.94 off of your purchase. If you use one of these coupon codes, I'll receive a small commission from HostGator. I hope you'll consider using one of these coupon codes as this allows me to produce videos to share information. I only recommend services that I use personally and believe will add value to my viewers. Thank you. WebsiteHelpingHand.com